What's going on everybody? It's the Coffee King here and I know it's been a while since you guys have seen me post any type of coffee review and I truly do apologize about that. But I've had a lot of things going on, me and my wife both. But um, everything's okay, everything's fine now. So we're going to get right into the video guys. And um, I just wanted to show you a little video of yesterday of me and my wife just enjoying ourselves. Going to the pumpkin patch, picking us a pumpkin. You know, we're going through the sunflower fields, all that good type of stuff, man. So hopefully you guys enjoy that video that's getting ready to come up. But today, we're going to be getting into some more Door County Coffee Tea Company. And this is the Wisconsin Harvest Blend. It's a medium roast coffee celebrating the fall season with hints of roasted chestnuts and toasted pralines. There it is. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, you tell it's been a while because I'm trying to find the angle on the camera. There it is, man. Super pumped to get into this. Hopefully it's going to be good. So sit back, relax, enjoy this little video that I have for you guys while I get ready. But first, hold on, first. Let me go ahead and open this. I don't want to forget that. I always forget some reason. Every time I, I am on time with a review. Oh, yeah. I don't really know how to explain this. It smells, I think I smell like a hint of vanilla. And a hint, I do have a hint of chestnuts in here as well. Like, like, like a nutty smell. The smell of coffee is there as well. So, that's a good thing. Now, now, enjoy this fall video from yesterday. Alright, let's go. All right, so once again today, I'm gonna to use a cup in memory of my grandpa. Um, it's a camel, the genuine taste. This is about a late 80s cup, and uh, it reminds me of my grandpa, how much he loved coffee and my grandma. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and use this cup right here. I got the coffee in my little K-cup pod, and we're going to see how this goes, guys. As you can see, I don't know if you see my background now. I have a literally literally just a coffee station in the background, so hopefully you guys enjoy that as much as I do. Enjoy seeing it. Um, I have the Keurig, and I have the espresso machine. I got, you know, on the second shelf down here. You guys can't really see it. But I got my French press, 
my bean grinder, and I got my pour over as well as some collectible cups that I've uh, gotten over the past few weeks. So let's go ahead and get into this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Let's go. All right. While that coffee is about to brew, I'm going to need every single one of you guys. I ask you this every time whenever I drop a review. Make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon once for your boy. Like my videos. Comment on them. Share them on the other social media platforms. Let me know that you are rocking with me. Let me know that you're still rocking with the Coffee King, baby. And I know you guys are probably like, man, this guy needs to shave. I absolutely do. I need to shave. I need to trim up. But uh, life happens. That's why I have the beard that I have right now. So, without no further ado, I'm going to let this brew, and we'll be right back. Alright guys, so here we are. This is the Door County Coffee Tea Company, and this is the Wisconsin Harvest Blend. Now, apparently I've been saying it wrong, but it's not praline, it's praline. That's what it is. It's, it's like a mix of culinary nuts that are like roasted, so... We're gonna go ahead and give this a try, guys. This is without cream and sugar. This is part one of the review. So let's go. Cheers, you guys. Yep, and it's there. I can taste, definitely taste a mixture of different kinds of nuts here. Okay, so I'm getting, this is like an almond, like an almond flavor. And you do get a hint of hazelnut as well. The chestnut, you don't really, I don't really taste chestnuts. But you do, you do taste the coffee and it's not bitter. Not really bitter at all, so it's an, still a decent flavor. But the coffee taste is there. The coffee taste is there, it's just not bitter. So you got the, the mixture of like the almond, there's no chestnuts there. Almond and hazelnut is what I taste. Almond, hazelnut, and coffee is what I taste here. But it's not bitter. It goes down really smooth. So, this is an alright cup of coffee, man. This is an alright cup of coffee. If I had to rate this the way that it is, just regular black, I would give this about a 3 out of 5 right now. Three out of five. That's what this is getting, regular black. This is only part one of the review. We still got another part to do. So don't go anywhere, guys. We're gonna go ahead and put some cream and sugar into this. Let's go. All right, so here we are back with part two of the review, guys. I put one sugar in it, and I'm gonna go ahead and just use a half and half because uh, I really don't feel like messing with pumpkin spice coffee, well, pumpkin spice creamer for this. So I think half and half is gonna go very well with this. I think it'll go very well. Like I said, one sugar booger in here and a little bit of half and half. Man, I need to trim my mustache too. I know it's like hanging over my lip a little bit. Dude, I look like a crab. Sorry. All right. This is part two of the review, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this so far. So here we are. This is Door County Coffee and Tea Company Wisconsin Harvest Blend with one sugar and a little bit of half and half. Go. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm it's definitely a little bit more sweet. For some reason, this made the hazelnut pop a little bit more. The cream and sugar did. It makes it pop a little bit more. And if I'm not mistaken, dude, I, I may taste like a hint of vanilla. So the hazelnut, the almonds are coming out, but the hazelnut's coming out a little bit more than I've added the cream and sugar to this. This is amazing. Oh yeah, okay. Like I said, the bitterness is not there. You can still taste the coffee. This is definitely, definitely a fall flavor coffee here, guys, that I'm working with. So uh, Door, Cap Door Coffee and Tea, Door County Coffee and Tea Company. Wow, dude. Wow, it's been crazy. Like I said, guys, it's been crazy. Um, you guys are doing a fantastic job with this, but me personally, I think that the coffee needs to needs to be a little bit a little bit bitter, needs to be roasted a little bit more, 
I understand that this is probably like a light into a medium roast or maybe just a medium roast, but um, I like a little bit more bitterness in my coffee. I like the taste of that roast, dude. I love the taste of that bitterness. But adding the cream and sugar to this, you know, with the hazelnut, and I'm not a big hazelnut person, and the almond taste that I'm tasting with a hint of vanilla for some reason, this makes, them, you know, a decent cup of coffee. It really does. So, adding the cream and sugar to this, I'm going to rock with about uh, a three and a half out of five. That's what I'm going to rock with. Three and a half out of five. It's not too bad, guys. It's only a star and a half away from a five out of five. So, uh, Door County Coffee and Tea Company, this one's all right. This one's all right. Just make it a little bit more bitter, and I promise you, I'm in there all the way. I'm in there. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know that you're still rocking with me. But it's the Coffee King, baby. Until next time, remember to love one another. Be there for one another. Be more positive. Find God. And learn to love yourself more. Be great out here. Be successful. Much love, guys. Until next Monday. Peace.